So here we are in Glasgow. I'm still lumping around. Han still has some pretty huge blister problems. And as for the group, still not sure where Luke is, somewhere in the Hebrides Islands. And Ben, Hannah and Rosa are somewhere around Glencoe uh, and on their way to finishing the West Highland Way. As for Hannah and I, we're pretty directionless. We're not sure what we're doing or where we're going, but eventually that somehow led us to here. And that is here. Well, here we are. We <laughs> made it to here. Uh, another ride thanks to Connor and Sean. Um, and what a sight. How oh, good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, By the Sea Guest House. Now we make our way down the coastal route from here to Clan Lion. I think I'm saying that poor, quite poorly, but our first proper shitty week, probably walking. Can't wait. I tried to try a few today, so I just jumped off the beach and gonna walk the road for a bit. We found a trailer park. Trailer park. Trailer park. Lots of trailers. Right, I'll have faith moment right now. <laughs> there doesn't look like much on the map, but the sign says this way. <laughs> Hope for the best. Scottish hospitality is hard to beat, and a bar, and got a free coffee. My goodness. <laughs> So after our free, much needed hot cup of coffee in Mabel, our next day started in Turnbury and it was much better weather. But no thanks to Catherine and Isaac, being both miserably cold, we decided we'll have a crack at hitchhiking to Stranra. And we were so lucky that Catherine decided to pull over and ask where we were going and offered to come stay at their place. And we weren't opposed to walking, we really just needed somewhere dry and uh, safe to hole up that wasn't a wet tent. And so we enjoyed beautiful pizza, a lovely bottle of wine, and great chats getting to meet these two beautiful people 
from Australia of all places having their own beautiful holiday. And so thanks to them, we got to start this next day, dropped off in Turnbury by Catherine, and yeah, finish our walk down the Ayrshire Coastal Road. Absolutely luckiest people in Scotland. Scotland Simpsons. hospitality. Simpsons bakery. <laughs> we were loitering around the bakery before we left and we did eat that. We, we did we, we had did. breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, they were closing up and like, oh do you want some donuts? And we're like, oh yeah. Which ones do you want? So we picked a couple and he goes, oh I'll give you these ones too. And well, I may as well give you these. So we walked out there with about six donuts. Oh, uh, quite Oh good. Not for the waistline, but for the soul. Yeah, for yeah, the soul. Here we are in Girvan, can we bother walking much further today? But we've got the porch set up. Oh yeah, best tent in the world. With a porch. Because, you know, when you're glamping, you need those seaside views from your porch. <laughs> So we ended up in Girvan, only about 10k from Turnbury where Catherine dropped us off. We pitched tent and when we woke up the next morning, decided we couldn't really be bothered walking. And a day that really captured the essence of what this travel is all about. We have no time frames or agenda or anywhere to be. And so it was so nice to lay in the tent, read a book, stop rest up and smell the roses and enjoy this beautiful little beach on this beautiful day. Carrot yeah. cake, what is that? Need you an excuse for dessert? Nope, you're an adult. No, no. And it's Saturday. Saturday? Do what you like. Thanks little campsite in Girvan. We are out now. Are we? <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, not raining today, which is fantastic. No, not raining yet. Yeah, hopefully we can beat the worst of it. We'll see. Okay. It's nice having dry gear. Ooh. Oh, what is that? That? Is that a slow worm? No, I don't think so. It's not an adder. Just be careful. There's two of them. There's the two slow worms. Whoa. Dude, I thought it was dog yeah. shit. Okay. <laughs> Good find from here now. I'm just going to see if I can pick them up. Oh. Big slow worm. Maybe it's a um, sea snake. See if I can pick it up. Let's just see if I can pick it up. You know, like Steve Irwin does. It's a nice, calm, open old road for Hannah. 
Oh, oh, she's yeah. coming down after the fight and seen some more snakes. Almost standing on the poor little guy. Yeah, came across two more, like almost what, 20 meters up the road. Yeah. Pretty grumpy, those ones. That's one straight away. Um, but yeah, pretty I've cool. You too, yeah, I just wanted to Steve it in it and say hello. Yeah, anyway, next time. Holy! Well, if you're on time, looks like it's been home for a while. All right, might feel my death. Ooh, that's broken Another henna creation for dinner. What is it, hen? Um, it's couscous with packet soup and tomato puree and garlic. Did you do both the sriracha. packets? Yeah, I did. So a tomato soup, no. cream of vegetable soup. You had a vegetable and a chicken out. Oh, that's not what I intended to have out. Oh, oh I did too. Okay, a chicken and a cream of vegetable soup. And you know what? And then what else do you have in there? Pretty good. Tomato. Garlic, Tomato paste, garlic sriracha. paste, sriracha sauce. That's probably up. Yeah, it's good. Bon appetit. And it's windy and rainy. Mm. <laughs> On the way out of Ballantre and weather's clearing, thank goodness. Um, that's about all we got. I think it's maybe 15k to Glen Nap. I'm pretty sure Glen Nap's probably 5 or more k from Ken Ryan. That's about it. Beautiful countryside. What I can say is that long wet grass is not going And this is the best bit of track we've seen all day. Very exciting. Girl, 
Another there, the island. We had to stop for a snack break. James has just had a blob of cheese. A little bit of golden syrup to go with it. Oh, you're not allowed more. It's mine. No, it's all that's mine. That's mine. It's a monster. Mm. He bites you like it. Yeah. Here's a nice little visual of what we've walked so far. So in the purple is our walk. Um, we didn't start up here, we started in Eir and walked down. No one's in it. And walking to um, Ken Ryan. Ken Ryan today. Yeah. Great lunch stop of some savory oats. Thank you to the Glenet Church. Quite a pretty church actually. And we're off to Ken Ryan, five miles away. And what a cracker of a day it's turned out to be. This reminds me so much of Banks Peninsula and the Te Arapataka track. <laughs> yeah, uncanny. Wonder how many hundreds of years this wall's been here for. Now that's a relic of a turbine. Goodness me. That's not long too actually. Made it to Ken Ryan. Found nothing here. Yeah. Uh, all the campsites are full, so pick the hitchhiker. Yeah, I'll go find a burger. And strand her up. Sure. <laughs> Well, the old hitchhiking didn't quite go to plan today. Uh, we made it to Ryan Bay campsite or something. Wherever we are now, um, um, we have Wi-Fi and hot showers and a beautiful sunset behind us, no rain. Um, and yeah, we didn't quite get the burger and chips we were looking forward to tonight, but maybe we'll have that for lunch tomorrow. Oh yeah. Another glorious day in Scotland. Good sleep though. Same what a glorious day in Scotland it is. Oh, it's fab. Fantastic. Here we are, third time lucky, Australian Ra. Our first attempt, we met the lovely Catherine and Isaac. Second attempt yesterday, well, we didn't make it that far. <laughs> third attempt, here we are. Oh, yeah. Now, consider it's only quarter to 11. It's too early for a burger and chips, but the coffee will do for now. What's down? We got burgers. Oh yeah. Katsu burger. That's the British burger. Yum. So here we are. 
we've made it to Stranra and we we're about to have a call with uh, a family from a workaway. Um, and as it ended up, we ended up being invited to this home in Ear of all places. So Ear to Somewhere ended up being Ear to Ear by Stranra. So after enjoying a burger and chips and avoiding the worst of a massive rain cloud coming through, it uh, was back to hitchhiking and trying to get all the way back to here and yeah, start the next chapter as a work away. So, my mission to get back up to here is going pretty good actually. We got a hitchhike from uh, Ken Ryan to Gervin, so now to get from Gervin to here. That's what we're working on now. Hannah's made the probable smart move. I'm um, gonna catch a bus to here. I'm going to stick it out. Pretty keen to stay no commercial transport. This is the reality, standing in the rain trying to hitch a ride. <laughs> it made it to here. It's been for the day. Um, it was pretty critical. Thanks to Gav for the ride from Ken Ryan to Gervin. And thanks to Kevin from the ride from Gervin to uh, to Ear. And then um, yeah, I've got a ride from here to our workway, so super lucky, super awesome. Um, had a great time meeting both those people. And um, yeah, a bit wet, a bit cold, um, but all happier for it. Yeah, good day, good outcome. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say, it's good. <laughs>